What's up guys? So today I'm getting back to my roots of what I normally like to review on this channel, which are, you know, are Walmart sneakers. And um, I'll be honest, I hadn't really been reviewing too much from Walmart, directly from Walmart, simply because uh, the main shoes that I would review on this channel, they hadn't really been releasing anything. Like M1 hadn't really released anything as of late. I think the last sneaker that they released was uh the vrooms that i reviewed back in the summertime and um the fubu that were released they kind of just look I, I didn't really care for them they just kind of looked meh but last week i was just playing around on their website seeing if they had anything new and i came across the fubu uh zone sneakers and I'll be honest, at first I wasn't sure if I wanted to even take the time to review these because the silhouette looks pretty similar to the past few FUBUs that I've reviewed. But I think what stood out to me is just, it seems like the colorways are decent. Um, this one is an all gray colorway. And the other pair, it's a, um, your traditional like black, red, white with little hints of gray in there. And I thought that was pretty nice too. Um, and I thought that <laughs> the difference from the past other FUBUs that were released that kind of had the same type of shape was that the colors, in my opinion, with, with, with these versions are, the colors with these versions um, are, um, I feel like they are more uh, coordinated compared to the other ones. They're not as loud. And I thought that was pretty cool. The um, So I was debating for maybe a few days about which one I wanted to review. And I even asked a few people uh, what colorway they liked best. And it was like 50-50. So what I decided to do was just order both. And that's what we're about to do. We're going to look at uh, both colorways of the FUBU Men's Zone sneaker. So let's get into it. All right, so here are the two colorways that are currently available in person. And I have to say that I thought that it would be easier for me to decide which colorway that I like better seeing them in person. But it's still hard, actually. I mean, of course, this is like your safe pick. But then surprisingly, the gray doesn't look that bad either i actually like the gray colorway um i wish that they would have done like an icy color pattern at the bottom um like they did on the uh and one bb knits let me see if i can pull that up if they still have that av available on their site to look at all right so i was able to find the shoe that I was talking about. I wish that the gray would have had like that that icy bottom because I think that would have made those pop because without that icy bottom it kind of just looks pretty bland. Um, so let's look back at the shoes. I mean it looks it looks good but it just looks bland at the same time. It looks safe. I mean both colorways honestly look safe. Um, but it just would have been nice to just maybe see a little bit of color with these. Maybe, you know, like I said, at the bottom of the shoe and on the back of the, um, this, this piece back here would have been nice to see. Um, but other than that, both shoes look pretty nice. And for $24, I think that um, you get a nice solid pair of sneakers. Um, Fully padded on the inside, uh, fully padded on the inside, especially around like that ankle. You have a lot of cushion in these, not their memory foam style, but you do feel more cushion in their later models compared to um, their models from a few years ago. I believe there's still their FUBU Knights that they're selling on their website now, that they're still selling. I think they're for like 19 bucks. But I've tried those out. I would say that these have a little bit more cushion in them compared to uh, that model. You can also feel like elevation uh, in the heel. So it's like they put a little bit more padding in the heel compared to other parts of the insole. 
Um, I've tried them on, they fit well. Um, I do like the lockdown up top. And I like that they put a little hint of like plastic or whatever that like, it's like a translucent kind of red. I think that's pretty nice to add, a nice little touch. Um, on the uh, site, when I was looking at the gray ones, I thought this was most like an icy blue. It looked more of an icy blue. It didn't just look like a solid gray, but either way, both of them look nice. Um, I still cannot decide between these these colors, uh, to be honest. I mean, there's a part of me that's like my safe side. Traditionally, I would go with any black shoe over something gray. But then there's a part of me that's like, well, these are gray and they're slightly different from, you know, the type of shoes that I normally would buy. Go with these. So I really don't know. I don't feel like you would, would choose wrong either way. Um, either way, I, I really do think these are nice, though. Um, it's, uh, uh it's, a, it's a nice touch. I, I like how they just kind of made them look a little more uniformed compared to, uh, previous colorways. There's been a few videos in the past where I've ranted that I just kind of felt like, uh, they would have a nice looking shoe. But then they would throw in some random ass color that does not go at all with any of the shoe. So that was like one of my gripes with a few of their sneakers. But overall, I think these are their safest colors that they've ever done. I'm glad that they didn't put that god awful like elephant uh, whatever pattern on the heel. Not the heel, but on the um the toe box of the shoes because that is something FUBU likes to do. I think that is so hideous. I'm glad that they didn't do that. They stayed away from that. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of feel like these grays are, are cool looking, but then at the same time, it's like they're missing something. So I don't know. What colorway do you guys like better? This one? or this one leave your comments down below either way you can get them on uh walmart's website currently for 24 dollars um i think they're going to be a little bit more available so they're not going to take as long i ordered these last week i had to wait a week for them to arrive but i'm also starting to see them now where they have they they now have two days shipping available for them um so i think that you'll be able to get them sooner than i did uh but i really don't think you you're making a bad decision with either one when i tried these on <clears throat> when i tried these on uh they fit um i would say true to size but they kind of fit like the traditional fubu shoes so if you if you ever wore any fubu walmart shoes you know that fubu walmart shoes are kind of wider than the n ones are slightly wider so you can't go wrong with the sizing i would say that they fit true to size but they are a little wider um but other than that they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're inexpensive. And if you're in the market for a new pair of, of kicks, why not? Why not for 24 bucks? If you like this video, make sure to thumbs it up. And I am out. Thanks for watching.